The problem that we're seeing as we get out and, uh, and talk to people in the real world is we're actually seeing a new digital divide. There are the people that actually know how to make the cloud sing and dance, know how to make the web work for them. There are people that are a black belt in Google search. There are people that know which websites to go to to pull all these things together. And there are people that don't. The complexity of doing business when you're a large enterprise is the fact that you have all of these things that are imposed upon you. I've got to answer to the SEC when it comes to banking transactions. I've got to be able to do call recording so that I can have actual you know, uh, uh, transparency to my transactions. I've got regulatory sanctions. I can't sell this to that person in this country or I can't share this medical information about this uh, a patient with that doctor without this permission. Those things are all built into the business processes that these companies have to support. It's costing us a fortune to build it, update it, and maintain it. And we need a way where we can ideally build one application that works everywhere. Einstein says everything should be made simple as possible, but not simpler. And WebRTC is that. And that's what's important to me in regards to why I like the technology so much, why we think it's such an innovative technology, is because it's simple and it just works. All right, and that's the goal. You should be able to, to add WebRTC in hours, not days or weeks. The acceleration of the innovation and the number of things that are dropping into the browsers today is pretty astounding. So the mobile web is going to be a tsunami that's going to change everything in our industry. It took 15 years for the first 2.5 billion to get on the web. The next 2.5 billion will come on in under five years. We're actually seeing that there's now 200 billion devices connected to the internet, at least intermittently. That's about 28 devices for every human being that's alive. WebRTC is not the application, it's not an application. WebRTC is innovative, but it is not the creative aspect of the technology. The creative aspect of the technology is going to come from everybody here. I've never in my career seen a time when web developers have had such a big opportunity to create amazing apps that were once only possible on native clients. So I think there is lots of room for disruption and lots of room for these types of technologies to disrupt the markets. It's automotive, it's full retail, it's banking, it's insurance, it's healthcare, and many more industries. Everybody is flocking to this. If you think a new technology like WebRTC that, that has the promise of reshuffling the winners and losers in a $2.1 trillion industry isn't gonna attract some new entrants, um, I, I don't know what kind of, a, uh, of an inflection point you're looking for.